On this edition of Horizons, it takes more than an exciting menu and inviting atmosphere to achieve restaurant success. Ahead, Why Not Pizza shares a recipe for setting attainable restaurant goals. Thanks for staying with us. Now, I'm Italian and I know good pizza and pasta when I taste it. And there's a new Italian spot that's managed to turn their mom and pop restaurant into big business throughout Hampton Roads. Let's meet the folks of Why Not Pizza. As promised, I'm here with the folks, the owners of Why Not Pizza, Tony and Harry uh, Di Silvestro. Yes. Uh, so tell me about Why Not Pizza. How did you all come to be here in Chesapeake? Well, we came to Chesapeake, um, we started out in 1993 um, at the Great Neck location. Um, so we opened up there as a family restaurant and uh, we just did really well from that location and it just has grown from there. Now you guys have other locations besides the Great Neck one and the one here in Chesapeake. Yes, we're located in Ghent on Collie Avenue and then in uh, Kempsville on Providence Road. And this is a, a family business. You guys uh, came down here, you said 18 years ago? 18 years ago, yes. Yeah, been, we've been open for 18 years. Our wives work with us, our kids work with us. So, uh, And we have a lot of key employees. Like the owner with us out here in Chesapeake has been with us 18 years in the Great Neck wow. location. And it's just been a really nice family situation for us. And uh, what, what kind of cuisine can you find here at Why Not? Oh, anything from Italian food, authentic Italian food, to gourmet pizzas, to everything. We make everything from scratch. We really do a nice job. I see some wonderful desserts behind me too. Oh, for sure. <laughs> we make all of our homemade gelato. Uh, we have like 18 different okay, flavors of gelato that we make actually in the Great Neck location ourselves. And then all of our cookies and pastries, a lot of it does come down from New York, from where we're from, up in Jersey, New York. And the name, why not? Kind of interesting. How did you guys come about picking that out? Well, when I was in first grade, I spelled my name backwards one day on a piece of paper. And my mom asked me, what is why not pizza? What is why not? So it kind of started from there and they've called me why not ever since. And so we came to come up with a name for the restaurant. It was easy. That's very unique. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> and has that helped you know, set you apart? Um, I think you know the kids play off of it. I think it's really worked out well for marketing with us, and the kids love it. And I'm constantly asking the kids, like, what is your name spelled backwards? And it's kind of a really fun community thing to do, and it's worked great. And what's your most popular dish that you guys make here? Um, you know, most of our traditional Italian meals, our lasagna is unbelievable. Like spaghetti and meatballs, you can't go wrong. And you know, our pizzas top rated. We use nothing but the finest ingredients that you can possibly buy on the market. If there's a better ingredient, we're buying it. So Harry, you guys have been so successful at your other locations. Why did you pick Chesapeake to open your newest restaurant? Well, over the years, our customers have never been uh, afraid to tell us where we, they think we should open in the Hampton Roads area, uh, especially in the Kempsville area. Uh, we have a lot of customers that come in from the Chesapeake area, uh, and they always express a need for a, a family atmosphere, a Italian restaurant in the neighborhood. Uh, and it was, it was a perfect fit for us, actually. I tell you what, I'm excited that you all are here. Uh, tell me about the pizza games, because this sounds uh, real interesting. Okay, well, the pizza games something started last year. Uh, it's a chance to get our customers out here and see uh, how their amateur skills are with pizza. So we have three age groups. Uh, we do things like uh, the highest pizza toss, the, first, the furthest pizza toss. Uh, we do the, uh, the best spin. And uh, there's, like I said, three age groups. We do trials at all four of our locations. Um, and then the winners from the, the trials will actually go down to the Italian Fest at the Oceanfront uh, this September, and they'll, uh, the finals will be held there for uh, all the stores to compete for a first place winner in every category. Awesome, and August 29th here at the location in Chesapeake is the, is the pizza game. Mm -hmm. Cool, looking forward to that as well. Okay, and actually we hear you're uh, from Italian background, so we'd love to invite you behind the counter and see how your pizza skills are. Oh my gosh, all right, let's go. Come on. <laughs> So I'm here now with John Foster. He is a, a part owner of the Chesapeake location, and you've been with the business since its inception. Yeah, 18 years. Wow, that's great. Now, you're going to walk me through here while Tony's tossing the pizza and tell me kind of what he's doing so then I can try it, right? Okay. Yeah, he's making his crust right now and doing what we call pinwheeling to stretch the dough out. Okay. Making sure he leaves a little dough in the middle. That's good so you don't punch a hole right through yeah, it, right? Yeah, right. definitely. <laughs> oh, wow. And then that's actually tossing and it's all in the wrists, it looks like. All in the wrist. <laughs> and how big do you want to stretch it out? Well, our pieces are 18 inches, okay. the large, and then we do uh, a 14 inch too, so. 14 inch, and then, and then goes the sauce on, the delicious sauce, is that homemade here? Yes, it is, every day. Looks delicious. And then the other toppings are added as you go along. So John, how long does it take to actually learn to toss a pizza? 
It can take several years. Um, some people just can't do it. You know, I train a lot of people to do it from scratch, and uh, some people just never get it. It's a difficult task. So you're saying I'm not going to become an expert here today? You might be. Some <laughs> people are naturals. Really? And how many uh, pizza tossers do you all have at your different locations? Uh, we have five at this location. Oh, wow. So. All right. Well, let me uh, jump in and try for myself. So you say first here. I'm. He's already made the crust and everything for Oh, he's for already you. punched it out for me. All right. Add a little flour. Okay, yeah, that helps. Make it so it doesn't stick. Go around. And then... You pick it up in your hands. Pick it up in my hands. and Slap it back and forth. There we go. We're slapping it back and forth. It doesn't really stick. That's good. And now, okay. And now throw it up when it comes into this hand next time. All right. So ready? Oh, throw it up when it comes in. Yeah. So one, two, one. There you go. Woo! All right. Incorporating <laughs> both hands here. All right. <laughs> <laughs> it's like we got a natural. Oh yeah, Mama would be so proud. <laughs> All right, mine's gonna be a little pizza though. I don't know if I can get it out to 18 inches here. You get in there. <laughs> and I haven't got it on my head yet or on the ceiling. I did punch a hole through it though. <laughs> Major yeah, pizza not fail. Bad. That's great job. <laughs> All right, so obviously making pizzas is not my forte, um, but I am looking forward to eating the one that you just uh, stuck in the oven. So <laughs> I want to you know, welcome you all to Chesapeake, and I wish you guys the best of luck. And, uh, well, thank you so much. Can't wait to eat. All right, Great. thanks. <laughs>